Hello uh, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to manage options on OpenCart. Uh, this one is specifically for uh, managing the devman options on OpenCart, not the default options that you get with OpenCart. So that's the important thing to note here at the start of this tutorial. So I'll, uh, I'll bring you through this step by step. And the first thing to do is that we actually will set up options here on the actual product. So the first thing I do is I go to catalog, then to options, and I just make an, an option group here. So I'm just going to call this option group. I'm uh, just going to set up a small little option here. So I'm just going to put this one in here. So for this purpose, I'm just going to call it test option. Okay, so we just put it in here and we call it test option. Test option. That's what we put in here. Then uh, we can make what we want to do is, is this going to be a select a radio box, a radio button, a checkbox, a text, a text area, a file, a date, a time, or a date and time. Okay. So for this particular one, we're just going to use a select because we're going to use it for selecting colors or options in a product. And in here, then we're just going to put, add in the options here. So we just put in here the option value. So we just put in test, uh, test option one. We'll add another one here, test option two. Test option two and so on and so forth. If we want to put an image beside each of these options, we can. Uh, and we can do this we'll, We can do this later as well. So for now, we're not going to put the option, uh, we're not going to put the image on the option. We're not going to do the test, the sort order here. That's fine. So we're just going to hit, click here and save. So now I've just ch saved my two options that come with this, my two options that come with this product, okay? What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to create another test option. So I'm going to call this, uh, so this is for when you have uh, two dimensions of options, size and color. Okay, and you can go on as uh, to as many options as you want. So I'm just going to test option dimension two. Okay, so we make that a select. We put it in here. We just call it two variant one. And we just put this one in here to bring it to. And I'm keeping this as, as I'm keeping this as generic as possible because you can apply this to absolutely anything. Close sizes, contact lenses, whatever you're selling. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to click here, save here. So just bear in mind that so I've got two sets of options here. Test option and test option dimension two. Okay. What I'm actually just going to do is I'm just going to call that last, the first one, test option dimension one. I'm going to just rename this one here. I'm just going to call it test option dimension one. So it's not to confuse matters and to make it easier when we're actually um, doing the display. Uh, dimension uh, two there, just lazy. Now, one. okay, I'm just going to... Dimension one, yeah. I'm just actually just going to leave it at that. Okay. Okay, we're just clicking in here. Dimension one, variant one, and then test option. Dimension one, variant two. Okay. So this gives you a little. You can see what's going on here. We're we're creating a kind of a matrix now of these. So we've got two 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 sets of options. And we're creating this matrix. Okay, so the next thing we do is now is we go to a product. So we're just going to set up a test product here and we're going to throw the two dimensions onto the test product. Okay, so we just click new and I'm just going to very quickly just fill in some details here on test product so that I can actually save it. So test Run options. Okay, just to make it clear what we're actually doing. Fill in the details here. Okay. 
go to data. Give it a model. Test option. Give it a price of 10 euro, pounds, sterling, whatever you're having yourself. And uh, links. I'm not going to link it to anything at the moment. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in the option. Right? So now this is not your default open cart options. This now is using the devman, the devman add-on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate all my possible options here. So I'm going to select the options of test dimension one. And I'm going to go test dimension two. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do generate all possible options. So this is going to generate all the possible options there is for that product. So bear in mind, I've got two options on two dimensions. So I should get four, uh, a generation of four now. So this goes off and generates them. So as you can see here now, so test option, dimension one, dimension two, dimension one, dimension two. So in here you can see, you can see the test. See it there, dimension the variant one. Variant one. So it has them all set out here. Okay. And the interesting thing here is that we can put in uh, a model at this level. So we might just call this uh, we call this dimension one dimension. We just we just call this D one D one. This one called D one D two. This one we call it uh, D two D one. And we call this one here um, D2, D2. So it'll just be easy. We're just going to put a price in here beside each of them. So the price can be additional to the base product price or it can be a brand new price. In other words, there's no relationship to the price at all. So at this one, we're going to put in 10 euro is the price here. And this one, we're going to do that the price is equal to 20 euro. Uh, this one we put in the price here is 30 euro and this one here we put in the price is going to be 10 euro or 40 euro sorry okay so that's just because of the different dimensions okay we also can add in different images here for the different options so you can put in any number of images you want for the different options okay you can put in discounts on the particular options if you want to specials on the particular options if you want to we don't bother with the seo tag for now okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to save this i'm going to save this product with this and then what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to jump out on the front end and i'm going to show you how this has rendered okay so this will take a little while just to save so this is now saved i go out onto the front end of the website here and i'm going to look for a product called test option out here so this is my next uh, thing, what I'm going to do here. So yeah, so we have the product here. So we just go test, um, test, okay. And we have a test option. So this is the test product for options, okay. So this is the product that's going to come up here now. So if we just uh, save this here. Sorry, page is just a little bit slow in rendering because we're on a, a development server. So now you can see it here. So we've tested up the dimensions for this one. So we've got variant one, variant two. And watch this when I change the price. When I change this, the price is going to change. Hopefully. Uh, so you can see the cha see the price changing, and the stock levels. It's reading the stock levels now at each at each project at each at each variant level. So it's a say a say as available for pre-order so if we go to add if we go to add it uh, to cart like this now you'll see what it actually looks like on the cart so we view the cart and you'll see then that there's a reference made now to the actual um if we have a look at the cart here you can see here there's a reference here to the to what we've actually bought so if we just click on this view just show you this now and you can see here so we bought the test product for options and we bought this dimension two so basically in the two dimensions that's that's what we've actually bought here 
And if I just go to the checkout, I should see it in, in details then, what I've bought. Now you might need to change around your checkout ever so slightly so as to to do it, to, to see what's going on. But I'll just do a cash on delivery sale here. Sorry, this is just taking a little while to run because there's so much going on here. And again, this is using journal theme checkout. So I'm just going to shop as a guest. I'm just going to fill in my details here. Okay, read and agreed to everything. Terms and conditions. Want to subscribe to the newsletter? Confirm the order. Postcode between two and nine characters. So we're being a bit smart here. So confirm the order. That's the order getting confirmed, and that's us out the gate. Okay, so the order's been placed. So the interesting thing now is when I go in here to look at the order in the sales. So if I just go in here, sales, sales order. This is where it's interesting. So this is the test shopper. So I'm just going to have a look at their order. And we can see exactly what variant they picked out of the product. And hopefully the SKU as well. So there's the, there's the SKU. So there's the SKU of the product they picked out. So it was this test that, and it was from the first dimension, it was dimension variant two, and from the second dimension, it was variant two, just so happened to be. And it was D2, D2 is the model that we picked out. Okay, so that's uh, an example of options working using the DevMan options. You can use it to, um, it's very, very handy because you can set everything really at an option level right down to stock levels, and that's what you really want to be doing. Uh, VAT level, stock levels at an option level. Um, and it also allows for flipping of images. Um, also allows for, you know, showing the the um, the aggregate stock on the on the upper level. So if I have sort of three small, four large, and three medium, then it's going to show that I've got ten in stock at the at the um, at the uh, the the product um, admin screen. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any difficulties, just uh, call us. Uh, or look up our website and our website is willowsconsulting.com. We are open cart agents for Ireland and have been building in open cart since 2015. I hope that's very helpful to you. And again, uh, feel free to contact us if you have any uh, questions or require more details. Thank you.